Season of Bear Watcher. It is July 24th, 2017, and I have got some subscriber vi photos and videos that are going to blow your mind about the lens array as the evidence is coming in. The lens array that I first discovered on an Australian web camera on a time lapse video, we can see these inner locking, I believe to be ultra thin acting as filters to filter out Planet X. And we see the sun setting through the lens array. What would that look like through the ground? Now I believe that they've been chemtrailing. Notice the sun sets and we see the curvature of these lenses as the sun passes through these. So, <laughs> I first thought they were planets and they are the lens array creating holographic projections Okay, with that being said, let's show you some compelling evidence of the lens array. And this was taken uh, just kind of as a preview on my last video that we could see the setting sun and what appears to be the unveiling of this technology. Now I think that this white thing is an actual lens that's unveiling this whole system because it's too close and hiding. And here we can see the projection of the fake sky behind it, filtering out Planet X. These things are like bizarre one-way mirrors. I do think that Caltech and NASA had designed this. I had men mentioned this in my other videos. So if you have more questions about this object, go back and watch my other videos. Because what I have for you next are subscriber photos that validate everything that I'd shown you. And get ready for this, people. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Is that some crazy footage or what? Yeah. These are the lenses. This is the fake sun behind it. And now I know why they chemtrail these edges so you don't see the fakeness of the skies that are ahead of us. Look at the setting. Look at this next picture. Here it's beginning to set. And what would that look like on video? And then here it sets. A nice close look at that. You can see the round edges here. Now, I will show you next. Let's watch this video in slow motion. That was taken. Look at right here. Look at that lens. Look at the chemtrails here. And look how they're flying their planes right across those lenses. To create distortion. You don't see that nice round edge because there is nothing normal about that. Look at this plane flying right through here. I am showing you at one quarter speed. Do you see the nice defined edge where my cursor is right there? That is breathtaking. Look how they put the chemtrail right up the center of that thing. It does look. Let's play that in real time. This is a time lapse, so it wouldn't really be real time anyways. But let's just play it at normal speed, what that would look like. There's the black line, and there's the outline. Of the right there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Thank you, Mary, for that video. I know you want accolades for this, but it validates my point that I'm not making this stuff up. You just caught this on a time last video, and it's absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. Wow. Look at that. That's just worth showing a few times over and over again. That's insane. <clears throat> right there. Look at that. Now look at these chemtrails. These are jet. Why are they so interested in flying airplanes right now during this fake sunset? Well, I have some thoughts about this lens array. I don't think it takes up the entire sky, but I think it's in a size big enough to cover up the entire solar system when it does pass through certain constellations, covering constellations at a time. I'm curious if this would be over the Orion constellation or Leo, somewhere in that realm. Anyways, thank you for that. So in my next video was just a refresh from the last 
cover up video that in the webcam to Mexico, a setting sun through this lens array as it goes through multiple lenses showing the light that they want us to see. But I think that the light, Nemesis Star, is so bright that it's lighting up the lens itself instead of acting as a lens, it's just lighting up that whole thing. And just look at this line here in here as this whole system passes through these lenses. And perhaps in a later video, I'll kind of show what these look like, but I think they're, they're a series of interconnected lenses. One, two, three. As it passes through, they can just turn this system off and on. So that is pretty compelling. Again, I'm just going to show you some older subscriber footage of these lenses that can creating convergence of light, letting more light than they intended to come through, creating these convergence and bizarre camera pictures that we see from the lens. Look at this picture. Here's a lens array. This is what it looked like is this camera. The sun would be passing through that point, just like you saw in all these videos. And just like in these photos from the Steve Olson channel, Again, the lens array being projecting the sun up into the atmosphere. The sun passing through the lens array, creating like this fiery phoenix look. Or the sun passing through a group of these lenses here and here and here. But really kind of hard to show it, hide it when the angle of the lenses in the array and the angle of the sun from the sun simulator makes it a very interesting sunset absolutely not normal so again I'm gonna leave you with this photo I would have loved to have that on video that people please get your cameras out and start watching you see strange skies and they're chemtrailing this stuff perhaps we can catch some of these defined edges man they totally epically failed on this shot so please copy like and share this have a blessed day. See you at the Lord's Supper.